All right, Marco here, never a case of the Mondays and uh, markfranklintoya.com. So today I wanted to give you some value. Usually it's more about the why, your mindset, because if you have the right mindset, you'll figure out the how. Um, you know, if you have a strong enough reason to why, why you're gonna change your life, stuff like that, then you will figure out the how. You'll make the time, you'll, you'll come up with resources, make the money to be able to change your future, right? But I always like to sprinkle in this how-to stuff and especially this one because it's going to be so valuable. A lot of the times I hear these patterns that people have, you know, limiting beliefs and patterns that they get stuck in these ruts. And it's always like, oh, you know, I just, I'd love to do this. I'd love to uh, grab a hold of an opportunity or something, but I just don't have the money or I just don't have the time. So time is the second objection. And really, you know, it's about time investment. It has nothing to do with money because... It's, it's really all about the investment of time into yourself to learn how to have the right mindset and find the time to change your life, right? And you can get resourceful with your time. So that's the difference between rich and poor is what you do in your spare time. And this, is, this was so key for me because I was really busy and I had a real, you know, some, some honest mentors that would set, that sat me down and explain to me, this stuff. Time is more valuable than money. Wealth is measured in time freedom, quality of life, not just money. There's rich and you know you'd be stuck in a building for 14 hours a day and you know you make millions but it's the price you pay with your time to make that money or you can be wealthy and you have some assets that are built that bring you in money whether you work or not and then you have all the time freedom in the world and your money freedom you're leveraging. So in order to get and achieve that you have to invest time into yourself and be able to push your mind, stretch and grow to break through to the other side, get in, the in, in on the right side of the cash flow quadrant where you have a different paradigm and you're, you're investing your time into getting yourself free and getting good at freedom. A lot of people are just, you know, investing their time, getting good at something that's going to keep them really busy, right? Doctors, lawyers, surgeons, professionals. If I was a professional snowboarder, the better I got, the less anybody could duplicate me, right? So... I was a slave to my practice, and if you're a slave to your business and you're feeling like, you know, you don't own it, but it owns you, there's some reasons why. And so you have to, I saw a, a meme on Facebook that said, I don't, I don't find the time to work out, I make the time to work out. And that's if it's important to you, right? So you got to think about what's important to you, you know, not just money, but why do you want the money? What's the money going to do for you? What are you really looking for? Right? We're not looking for money. We're looking for the things that money can get us. So when you really get down to your core value, you figure out what that is and you get clear on what's important to you, then you can search for and find and make the time to build the, the business vehicle or the asset that's going to get you to that core value. I hope that makes sense. That'll be in another training video. But here's how you're going to find time because everybody's caught in a pattern, right? It's, oh, I'm so busy, man. I would, but I don't have time. I got tired of saying that to my kids and to my friends and my family where I'm just so busy. Yeah, you can you know build a bunch of businesses, but... If you don't have a life, you don't have any time to enjoy it, what's the point, right? And so we develop disease. Number one reason for bankruptcy is medical bills because a lot of people are just focused on money and they don't invest in their health. And then you, so you work and then you die. You have some big regrets, you know, and the, regret, the biggest regret on your deathbed, you've probably heard this, is it's not like, oh, man, I wish I would have worked more. It's always I wish I would have had more time with my family and to have these relationships. So... This is so important. I hope you get how important the time thing is. And in order to get your time back and have an abundance of time, it's kind of like investing you know, your money, right? You're going to invest your time to get a lot of time back. That's how I have a life and I do whatever I want all day and I'm with my kid all the time. I'm like the only dad at all the playgrounds and stuff and, and always at the house messing around with my kid because I have a lot, a lot of time. I can do whatever I want. I was, I've built a few assets. It's not like I'm a gazillionaire, but I invested the time to get these money streams coming in, multiple streams of income for a financial fortress around you, you know, yourself and your family that nothing can penetrate. And that makes a huge difference, okay? So how, this is how to find the time, make the time to do it. And we're all busy. You got a job, you got businesses, you got kids, you, you know, uh, all that stuff that's pulling you in every direction. And if you don't have a plan for your life, somebody else does, right? So you have to get clear and be able to time block your stuff and find the time. So I always, uh, I'm, I'm always able to help coach people and find their time. And they, they just wonder where all the time goes. You know what? A lot of it's thinking space. And the time is in between all these tasks, right? It's the time in between that, that adds up. But we don't understand because it's like coming out in little increments all over the place. 
and we lose the, the day, you know? So, I mean, you can get caught up, I mean, so easy just in Facebook scrolling, right? <laughs> so, um, here's how you can break it down. Four, four quadrants, like, you know, there's four areas really in your life. It's physical relationships, contribution, and money. So, when I talk about physical, you know, sleep, eating, working out, you know, exercise, stuff like that, your physical body, your relationships is family, friends, church, God, you know, all that stuff, contribution, volunteering, giving back to the world. One of the human needs is to, to you know, contri contribute. It feels good. It's, it's addicting. That's why I do what I do. That's just why teachers teach. It's more about the impact. And there's two, just, just on a side note, two most important times in your life. When you're born and when you figure out why you were born, why you were put on here. So I know my why. That's why I'm so passionate. I would do this for free. It wakes me up in the morning. And when you love what you do, that is success, right? So if you're clear on that, nobody can stop you. And then your money. So that could be job, businesses, you know, things like that. And these are the things that take up a lot of time, okay? So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna be really generous with this stuff and say, okay, eight hours a night times seven, 56 hours of sleep. You know, so people are like, ah, oh, I'm so busy. I don't know, I'm just, there's no, not enough time. We always feel like there's not enough time in the, in the day. So um, I'm gonna break this down, right? So eating, maybe say two hours a day, I'll give you 14, that's for preparation and eating, different times, breakfast, I don't spend 10 minutes. Um, so, you know, two hours is pretty good for a day. Working out, maybe an hour a day, a lot of people don't even do that. So that's 70, 77 there. Go over to relationships, if you set goals, you can set goals with this stuff too, and add an extra hour so you can, you know, set your goals higher and give your spouse more time, give your kids more time, you know, and up that a little bit, but sometimes there has to be unbalanced, like investing that time to create more time later, right? So I don't believe in all this whole balance thing. I have a balanced quality of life, you know, and sometimes in order to get where you're trying to go, you got to get unbalanced. I, I skipped weddings, anniversaries, barbecues, all that kind of stuff to get to the highest level in snowboarding, uh, paying the price, doing what other people aren't willing to do to get what they'll never have, and then you know, that's what happened. I got the most amazing lifestyle and I was able to taste freedom in the next level of living. That's why I love doing this. I can't go back to normal living. It's it's just hard for me, right? So I'm gonna do two hours a day for family investment, you know, an hour for praying, um, you know, church, uh, you know, for, for the week. So there's that, that, there's maybe three hours a week for volunteer contribution. I'm gonna give you 10 hours a day just for the job, okay? Uh, which is five days out of the week. And then, so there's, there's 50, you add all that up, it's over here, okay? So physical relationship, money contribution, I'll give you an extra 12 hours for miscellaneous just for the extra stuff, paying bills and different things like that. An extra couple hours a day, and that's a lot, right? And so you think, ah, you know, you have, that, that adds up to 159 hours for the week. You know how many hours in the week there are? 168, so that leaves nine hours that you would have that you can get clear and you can make sure and block out your time to invest into your future into building something on the side a side project that's going to set you up for the future so you can retire early so you can have an asset built that brings you in money whether you work or not not get caught in the 40 hour a week for 40 year rut to retire on you know 40 percent of your income and you know, die like that with dead broke, you know. Um, this is about owning your life, right? You can't depend on the government to take care of you. My family, some of them have worked 47 years paying their taxes like good people thinking the government's gonna take care of them. They're give, giving them now less than 800 bucks a month to live on. I mean, how, like, does that make any sense? You, you can't depend on the, you have to, you have to, own your life and take control now you still have the chance you still have the energy not work not pay attention you know not just work and then really kind of not pay attention and invest in your health and then you you know you, what you don't might not have heard is that a lot of people are forced into early retirement from bad health okay so you got to invest in your physical make some goals there but what i did to get free is I was super busy. I was saying, I was telling mentors, oh, I don't have any time. And they, they sat me down and said, man, if you don't make the time, I'm gonna come back next year and you're still gonna be saying, ah, oh, so busy, right? And that's a pattern you can get caught in. Most people do. They get caught in ruts, rat races. They, they settle for what they're getting. And then they, they kind of you know, plan their lives around that income. And they just kind of settle there and stay in that rut. 
it's you know it's kind of like deer trails um, where where you know, your subconscious is there to keep you safe and secure and comfortable so when a deer finds a trail that they think is safe then they start following that trail and it creates the deer trail and that's how the predators know where they are it's actually dangerous to be there it's dangerous to have a safe secure job there is no safe secure job that's actually an oxymoron moron being the key word there <laughs> right so you the only thing safe or secure that you can have is your own business and assets that come in so you're comfortable you're safe you're stable uh, so you're not the average family that's one or two paychecks away from bankruptcy from just having a job. What if you get laid off? It's not in your control, right? Somebody else can fire you or lay you off at any time. Your life is not in your control. The only way you can have that control, own your own business. That's why I tell people to start their own business, even for the tax benefits of loan for being a business owner. Employees, they do not get any tax benefits. Business owners do. You save thousands and thousands of dollars by having your own business. You get put in a different tax category and it's not what you make, it's what you keep. That's another training too. But I teach people how to start their own home business. With nine hours a week, you can do that. You wanna know how to free up more time? This is how you do it. It's called clumping. Clumping is, you know, that's a whole nother training, but I'm gonna go through it really quick just with a few ideas. You can clump different categories, right? Like if you wanna invest time into relationships, well, while you're doing physical and you can work out, you can you know work out and have bring the kids with you on on rides. You know I I, I push the stroller sometimes when I'm jogging. Um, I'm listening to self development books while I'm, while I'm working out things like that. So I'm clumping. I can also uh, while I'm doing my home business, you know, pay my teenager and that's a write off. You can pay your teenagers to help you f pass out flyers or whatever you're going to do with your home business and you can, you can actually write that off. Yeah, I, I, most people will never know that because they don't read tax books. You got to know your taxes. Taxes are the biggest expense in your life, but most people never check that, right? And it'll keep you broke if you don't watch out. So, um, you know, even, even though well, there's so much, uh, sleeping, if you want to free up another 3.5 hours a week, just sleep 30 minutes less, 7.5 hours. It's not going to harm you. Um, you can sleep seven hours. I sleep six, and I still get everything done. It's perfect for me. That would be at two hours a day. That's 14 extra hours a week. That's how I find the time, and I invest that time. And I, you know, it took me five years, but now I have set up businesses that pay me money, and I'm able to invest that extra money into other businesses and other investments. So even when some of them fail, I still have that financial fortress around myself and my family that nothing can penetrate, right? So I don't, I don't have to fear risk and things like that. So I hope this was valuable. Nobody can tell me that they don't have time. I have a wife, kids, businesses. I was a pro snowboarder, traveling the world, all that kind of stuff, didn't have any time. But if it's important to you to get free, Financial freedom is a catchy word these days, pretty elusive to most people because if you don't have a strong enough reason why, you're not going to do it. Find your why, get clear, invest the time. Nobody can tell me they're busy because I was the busiest. If it's important, you'll make the time. You'll find the time and this is how you're going to do it. And if you have teams and you have uh, you know, businesses of your own, home business, you can show this to your team. Uh, you know, it's probably pretty valuable. I helped a lot of people with breakthroughs and then once you find that time, you got to block that into your calendar. Okay, block it in. Block in this first. Your relationships are more important. Show your spouse that you're, you have goals. Hey, I set up an extra hour for us. Do that first. That's going to make them happy. They're going to know that they are priority. Right? But so you block that into your calendar. But then you're also going to block in your freedom. Right? So you can finally get free. Because if you don't and you let other people have a plan for your life, they will. So you have to make this a core a core important value too and you block that in and when that comes you don't let anybody else get in the way I don't let anybody else get in the way of my you know a couple hours a day that I put into the work into my business because you know if you don't have a plan for your life something else does or somebody else does so you have to block that in and don't let anything else get in the way same thing so, so you, that way whatever you have blocked into your calendar if it's not in the calendar it's not gonna happen okay but when you have it blocked in that means you're a hundred percent in the moment present and you get so much more done because you're focused. Then when I'm with my family, that's in the calendar too. And nothing, I'm a hundred percent present with my kids. So they know that they're important, right? I'm not thinking about business when I'm with my family. I'm not thinking about, 
uh, family when I'm doing business because I'm just focused. I'm, not, I'm nailing it, right? And I can get more work done in less time when I block it out. So that's good time management. Really pay attention to that. If you like this stuff, share it. And if you're looking around, you know, uh, um, I hope it's valuable. Now I'm gonna, right down below this video, I'm gonna do the full post in the blog post. Read the full post because if you make it to the bottom, I'm gonna have an offer there down there that's gonna teach you how to use Facebook to leverage your time even more and get information in front of thousands and thousands of people and doing that's you know I get Facebook doing the work for me while I'm not working so I'll be at the playground and I have ads and marketing you know five dollar ten dollar twenty dollar ads working for me sifting and sorting and putting information in front of people that are already interested in what I have and that saves me tons of time right you can outsource you can work smart not hard and that's the next level so Go to that post right there, click the link, go to the bottom, read, read it all because there's more details in the full blog post training and then click the links for the boot camps and things like that. You know, learn the next level of this stuff. This is Freedompreneur Mastery, right? Infopreneurs. This is the newest, best stuff going, social media. You can make money with Facebook and things like that and it is, it is key. This is awesome. So, hope that was good. Love you guys. Talk soon.